Alright, let's show you how to make snow with After Effects 2020. So, on, yeah. So, first you'll want to make a new project. Then uh, you want to make a composition. We'll call that snow. And then you want to add a, a solid in there. So you go layer, solid. Oh, that looks good. So, okay. Make sure this is selected. Press effect, particle world. You can tell that that's, that's, some, that's some nice snow right there. Yeah. Let's try to figure out how to get to that. So we'll just bring this one over just to have something in the background. There. So let's actually turn this into snow. Which I have to get back to the effect. There we go. Alright, so no need for all this checked. Let's start with actually getting this not to look as explodey direction access and then not as much like fire but more like snow with fate of spear. See we're already getting closer. Change that to white because snow is white. Alright. We are getting somewhere. Now, we're obviously going to need this to cover the entire screen. So, with enough uh, moving around. There we go. That's what we need. You really want to mess with that z-axis to get some definition for sure. I gotta move it back over. It's right now. There's the... There we go. There we go. So let's see how that looks right now. Alright, that is some fast snow. That is a blizzard right there. But we, we got the uh, the basic look of the snow. The main things is messing with birth and death size, making it a faded spear, making the animation to a direction to access, messing around a little bit with the producer so it's like actually spread out, you know, along your entire frame, and then again, you know, mess a little bit with up, birth rate, and longevity. Sorry, I was about to lose my keyboard. All right, well, push comes to shove. You can still goes into Premiere and slow it down that way. Pretty simple. But hey, that's that's making snow and After Effects. And if you didn't know this and you have Adobe Premiere and After Effects, you can literally save this project, throw this project into Adobe Premiere, and use the project as the the MOV file, whatever you want to call it. And then you can go back into After Effects, adjust it, press save, and then it'll adjust it into Adobe Premiere. Alright, so that was my quick tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Adios.